Hey gang, it's John Horn here, and in this video we're going to talk specifically about the song form for uh, Route 66. We've basically covered this already in class, but uh, there are a few specific things that I want you to do with the 12-bar blues form for Route 66. It'll match the lyrics a little better, so I'm just going to briefly go over that. Let me pan down here so you can see my guitar and my sleeping puppy dog, and we'll go over those changes. So it's going to use the 12 bar blues uh, in the key of B flat, just like we've talked about in class, starting at the sixth fret. On the second bar, this is different than what we've done in the past. We're going to go to E flat seven on the second bar. We haven't been doing that very often. Now, one thing I want to stop here and talk about recently in class, we talked about instead of putting the middle finger on the fifth string, putting it on the sixth string. And many of you indicated that that was easier for you to make the change from B flat seven to E flat seven. You are welcome to do that. For the sake of this video, I'm always going to put my middle finger on the root, but it's a very subtle difference between putting your middle finger on the fifth string, the root, and putting it on the sixth string and getting the fifth on the bottom. It's a little fatter sounding, but pretty subtle. So do whichever one you want. All right, let's get back to the form. Let me just start over from the top again. One more time, B flat. E flat seven for a bar and back to B flat. Then down to E flat seven again, and you can do it this way, like I said, and back to B flat. Now we're gonna go up a fret to F and switch F seven, E flat seven, and B flat seven. Now check this out. That's a little turnaround to take you back to the top. All I'm doing is sliding up one, two, three frets to the D flat chord. That's D as in dog. D flat seven at the ninth fret, then C is at the eighth fret, and B natural seven, <laughs> right, at the seventh fret, and then finally back to B flat. So that's just a nice little thing to play for the last few beats to take you back to the beginning again. So let me play the whole song form. I'm gonna go twice through the form. I'm only gonna ask you to go one time through the form for the video but if you'd like to do more that's fine um so check it out here we go Let's see if i can do my best oh you know what um it's kind of not a great key for me but you know one other thought this would make a great introduction just to use this well if you have a plan to motor west just take my way it's the highway that's the best get your kicks on route 66 here's that turnaround well it winds from chicago to la more than 2,000 miles all the way Get your kicks on Route 66. And you can end it here. All right, and one other little caveat I'd just like to say, um, be careful when you're moving in parallel, meaning from E flat seven to F seven, or actually more likely in this song from F seven to E flat seven, or any of these chords here, D flat C, B, or B flat seven, that you don't get a lot of that kind of sound. So you can slide on the strings and you'll hear a little bit. I had a little bit of noise in that last video or in that last take there. <laughs> but um, you want to be careful that it doesn't become overwhelming. So just be aware of that. All right. Should we wake Sandy up? Hey, Sandy. He is fast asleep. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.